This is the last year we're going to be in non-air conditioned dorms. We made that decision. That costs a little bit more money. It's a little further walk from where we practice. Uh, but it's really important that these kids get a good night's sleep and this time of year, even though this is a little bit extreme with 105 degrees yesterday, uh, it's, it's always going to be warm. Despite the heat, it's been another great camp. And we had to you know, change our schedule. We went from using about 21 courts uh, to using about 12 courts, the, the ones that were air conditioned. We feel like our job as coaches at Purdue is to continue the growth of volleyball and the development of volleyball. And we think that doing the camps and doing a really good job with the camps is a great way to uh, to, to fill that role. These players to learn not just you know how to play the game technically wise but how hard they play the game, how much intensity you have to play with, how much you have to think the game and those are some things that sometimes get lost when they're you know maybe in a, a middle school or a high school program that doesn't have you know real strong training or real strong coaching or there's not a, a history there uh, or a culture and they come in, they watch our players in operation, and they get the coaches that we have here that are going to drive them and, and really motivate them and encourage them to raise their intensity level. Because that, that, to me, you know, athletes across the state or across the country are going to be pretty much the same. I don't think any part of Indiana has a monopoly on better athletes than other parts. It's just how you learn to play the game and how hard you play and, and with how much intensity.